What's up, everybody? It's another fresh Saturday in Westnal Trending of Benchmark Films, the only place where you find trending interviews of celebrities, business personalities, fashion and movies, both local and international. Westnal Trending. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, back. We are still with the Westnal Trending with your boy, MCs and ones and twos, and you know what it is? It's happening every Saturdays from time 8 p.m. Paka Mama calls you. I don't know how you spent your weekend. Me, I spent my weekend so nice. I had made out. I went with my friends out. I partied as long as we kept our distance, social distance with Corona. So you know what it is? Tonight, we're having some special guest. Someone big in West Nile. Someone big in West Nile. She is big. Then the name called Big. She's gonna be telling you what her names are. I'm not gonna mention her names right now, but no, we're getting back with that person. Remember to put on mask, social distance, sanitize. Corona is real. Wherever you're watching me now, Corona is real. I still remain MC Wizzy, the king of the mic straight out of Benchmark Films Uganda. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon for any notification. We are there for you. Yo, we are back with the second episode of Westnal Training and I still remain your host MC Wheezy on the ones and twos. Yo, before we go to the guest in the studios, I just want to give you a few updates on what's trending in West Nile, on what we have right about now. So uh, we're having some few artists who release uh, brand new songs or audios. Uh, on the line of the list, I have uh, Visachi Perico. That guy is just the real nigga, man. Uh, Visach Perico has a brand new audio called uh, Mafiki Zolo. <laughs> that guy is going to do some badass one. And it's uh, being uh, produced by Kuma Pesa. Yeah, so, and on second list, we're having a Monopoly. Monopoly, the bad character, training everywhere you go. You go to Gulu, Monopoly, bad character. You go to MVP, Monopoly, bad character. He drops in a brand new audio called Voting. I really don't know. I cannot go on that side of Monopoly. I don't know which side he's standing or what is he targeting. But he has a brand new audio that is a voting. And we come to Yama Girl. Yama Girl. I know most of you know about Yama Girl. You hear about Yama Girl. She really has also a brand new audio called Passport. So we're talking about some of you here about this nigga called Free Boy, Free Boy, Free Boy. He dropped in a latest song that is Touch Me Slowly. Tule Se Kwate Simu, that was a trending song everywhere. That boy is, by the way, from West Nile. From West Nile, though he's basing that side. He's really representing West Nile. He's really doing the real thing to show that West Nile is growing big each and every day. He has a brand new audio that is uh, Touch Me Slowly. And I think the video is out. You can check on his YouTube channel. And uh, there is a king of rap in, you, uh, in West Nile. That is LP Shadi. He is featuring Fefe Busi. <laughs> you know what it is? The song is still in the studios. When it comes out, it's gonna be fire, 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 fire. LP Shadi is featuring Fefe Busi, king of rap in Uganda. And that song is going to say Chota Yote. You know what I'm talking about, Chota Yote. Whatever you have, Chota Yote. Pesa Chota Yote, Bibi Chota Yote, Westnell Chota Yote. LP Shadi is dropping in a brand new audio soon. So keep waiting, keep watching, keep subscribing, keep following him for that latest, latest, latest. That's about uh, the artist. And if we're going to DJs of uh, Arua or West Nile, we're having DJ VZD. He also has a brand new mixtape out. That is a uh, street anthem. So street anthem, you really do it. Go subscribe on his YouTube channel. I hear this, you're gonna get it. Download it, have the fun vibe of it. When you're at home, make sure that you're listening to that street anthem. Uh, DJ Mandezo also has a mixtape already out uh, that is uh up, up um, about something afro yeah so you also try checking on his youtube channel i hear this and we're telling you ladies and gentlemen as we are speaking the covid cases is increasing wherever you are first wuko my brothers and sisters the covid cases are increasing we don't know what he is gonna say or we don't know if he's adding on the lockdown but you have to keep yourself safe away from corona corona is real 
sanitize whenever you're going to the studios make sure that you have your mask whenever you are with friends make sure that you keep social distance I you I I, I might be your brother but you don't know I may have got it somewhere from someone and I come and give it because you're like hey this is my friend this is my brother cannot give me corona but corona is real okay and beside that as we told you as you watched the last movie that was premiered HIV is also real okay so ladies and gentlemen let's try supporting West Nile let's try lifting West Nile up and we shall grow so as we're talking right about now in the studios we're having one of the biggest biggest like her name <laughs> do you want me to mention her name sorry she's gonna do it herself <laughs> I think it's the right time right about now right about now right about now right about now <laughs> I know you're laughing wherever you are and she is ah, 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 ah. I see that beautiful smile. What's up, what's up, my dear? How are you? I'm okay. How is life? Not bad. How is Corona doing you outside there? <laughs> As you can see, Corona has not affected me, yeah. By the way, you've not done something. First tell the people watching you live. Who are you? What are your names? Baby Yajimani Bajeti. Back of a supermarket, ah, uh, Mambe Yogati. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is uh, the one and only Queen of Queens, <laughs> Queen Genius. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that vibe, by the way. Can you do it one more time, man? I like your voice. I really like it. Baby, you do money budget. Back of a supermarket, ah, uh, Mambe Yogati. I wish you could put that MC with <laughs> <No, no, no. laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard she's called Queen Genius. Queen Genius. How did you come up with that name, Queen Genius? Queen, okay, my real names are Faida Gloria. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Queen, the G is uh, my name, my real name, Gloria. And the Queen, Queen, uh, that is the name I chose for, the, for my music, you know. Uh, that like when I'm on stage and some like that is the queen is the name that makes me feel comfortable in the industry it makes me feel as if I own the industry it, wow yeah. <laughs> you really feel like you own West I Nile own. right that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice if you really have that confidence that yes you own West Nile that is really really good uh, so you've told us your name is Queen Genius how you got it how you found it how your name and how you feel proud of that name yeah. so I just want to know I want you to tell the people watching your life right now, okay? Mm -hmm. What are your real names? Apart from the stage name Queen Genius, like me, I have MC Wiz as my stage name, but when I'm outside there, I have a friend like Moses can call me Dory. Yeah, Yes can call me Ahmed. You get it? Yeah. That's my real names. So what are your real names? My real names are Faida Gloria. Faida Gloria Faida are Gloria. your real names. Yes. Okay, do you really feel proud when people call you that name? Why not? Oh, you just want the celebrity name. I feel name. so sweet. <laughs> but by the way, let me tell you something. So you see with me, mm -hmm. I really don't like someone calling me that home name. Dory, 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 no. So if someone asks me, but what, Wizzy, what's your name? I'm like, no, do you know what? From childhood, me, my name is like Wizzy, Wizzy. So I hide that name because when I tell them that my name is Dory, they always tell me, do you know what? That names are like for girls. And you know me, I always feel shy. Dory. Yeah, Dory, D O R I. I have a sister called Dory. <laughs> you have a sister called Dory? Ah! <laughs> That's kind of awesome. That's kind of awesome. What do you think about like you giving her like we make Dory Dories? No. Like. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your names are Farida, right? Farida, not Farida. 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 Not Farida, it's Farida. So everyone who is watching uh, Farida, Queen G live Gloria. tonight, apart from Queen G, her stage name, she's called Farida, Farida. Gloria. Farida Gloria. Yeah. So where do you normally base here in Arua, if you're in Arua? Where is your hometown? Where is your village? Your village? Um, when I'm in Arua, mm. I stay in Ediofe, yeah? But I'm someone from Moyo. I'm a Madi from Moyo, but when I'm in a row, I stay in the office center, the oh. city. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in Arua, when you're in Arua, you stay in the office, but you're born from? Moyo. Moyo. Yeah. Like Moyo where? Because Arua here, I can say I was born in Arua, but in Pangisa, I was born in Arua, in uh, Pajulu. So where in Moyo were you born? 
Um, I was born in Moyo in a village called Pamoti. Pamoti, yeah. Pamoti. Yeah. I, I can't lie because I don't know there. Yeah, it's called Pamoti. That's where I come from. So, like, there in the village, is your mama there? Is your dad there? Like, okay, your grandma, who, Mom, who is at home? Mom is there, mm-hmm. but father, my dad died when I was... Oh, it's a yeah. pity. It's, it's really okay. a pity. That's part of life, yeah. Yeah, yeah but mom, so, everyone is there. Mom my is bros, there. Yeah. So, I want to ask you something. Mm-hmm. When you came with that idea of, like, you becoming an artist, you're getting it? Mm-hmm. You becoming like, yes, I can make it like Shiba. I can make it like Winnie Nwaji. What did your family members think of you? Did they stop you? Did they hesitate you? Or did they like say, no, this girl is now becoming a muyai? You know, parents, eh? they don't want yeah. their daughters or their kids or their sons to go astray. Like now me, mine thought I was going to become a pilot. <laughs> but right now I'm interviewing you. Right now I'm on the social media. So what did they say about that? Okay, like at first when I started it, you know, I started as a dancer. Mm. For, a, for some guy called Ekeriki from Moyo. Mm. So like uh, those days when we used to go for like sores and we come back, you know, my mom could get mad at me at times, beat me up, you get eh? But one day I told mom, uh, mom, I want you to understand me. Yeah. I think uh, music is what my heart desires. Mm. Uh, I, I, the only thing I need from you is your support. Because the more you continue beating me, the, the more you'll get stressed because me I'll like it's saying that yes it. I'll continue doing it because <laughs> that's what so you wanted. when I talked to her she understood me mm. and that's when she started supporting me mm. and as I talk now mm. they are really proud of me that everyone at home is proud of me they they proud feel of what that you're doing. they even promote my music really? I remember when I made five years in music mm. my family members they they had to, to, to organize for me as so yeah. um uh, my five years anniversary they were the they organized for me. Where did they organize it, it was from? in Moyo. Moyo, yeah. yeah. So They're that okay. means home people like they really support, love what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay so that is your like your mama got my to know. My mama. Yeah. My uh, uncle. They got yeah. to know that yeah now Queen G wants to become an artist. Mm. Queen G is doing this. So I want to ask you this. I don't want you to feel bad. I want to ask you this. Did you go to school? Um, school, yeah. But, like. Um, Studied from which levels of class to? I started my nursery mm. in uh, the school in Mayo called Father Bilbao Memorial Primary and Nursery, mm. and from there I started from primary up to P, uh, nursery up to P3, mm. then P4 to P7 I went to Moyo Boys Primary. It's a mixed school, yeah. Then my senior, my secondary school, I I joined Metro SS. It's mm. also it's also in Moyo. Mm. But uh, unfortunately, because of fees, I didn't, you know, mm. hope you understand. I know, <laughs> I know. So I want to ask you one more question before we go for the commercial break. Mm-hmm. I really want to ask you one question. So when, when you started music, when you really saw that you're succeeding or you're progressing in West Nile, mm-hmm. what have you done for your mommy? Do you support her whenever you do some shows? You're like, mommy, do you know what? I did this show. I have some 10,000 here for you. I have this for sugar. This is it. For her to feel, yes, my kid is outside there. She's trying to hustle. She's trying to do this and this, but she's supporting me as I being a single mother. Mm, I'll not want to mention things I did for my mom. But uh, uh, I've really done things for her. I don't want to mention them because guys feel like this one is a brogan. She's doing this. this no, one. it's not being a brogan, Queen G. That is being like true. Uh, you know, it is I'm like a, one I'm a, on one. You um, want to make sure the people watching you tonight, the people feeling your vibes, to know what you do, what you're passing through. Right now, you are inspiring someone. Did you know that? I someone know. is outside there. I want to be like Queen G. So. Someone does not know what he should do. If you tell, you know what, out of the little that I get, out of the little that I do with my shows, I help my mom, I do this for myself, I help my baby kid if you have, I do this, I do that. So that's what I really want to know. Yeah, but the truth is I support my family because I'm a firstborn. Yeah, but um, the things I did for her, no, I don't want. To, oh. to, to let my fans know. I know, I yes. know. So how many are in your family? Like how many? You're the first? We are four. 
all girls or you have mixed three boys? girls one boy three girls one boy that means you're the only one who became like shiba <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are still with Queen G, the genius in the studios of Benchmark Films Uganda, and I remain your host, MCWZ, on the ones and twos, the African MC. We are getting back on a commercial break, and we are coming back in a few. Hey, yo, this is Steve Sugar FX, yo. Keep watching West Nile Trending every Saturday, 8 p.m. Keep it locked, yo. I am your queen, your leader, commander in chief. You must go down to me and stand up, salute me. Lord, come and cut your mother in this chin and your dancing to eat. Me no one could be cut style, but originality. And when you copy my style, that's illegality. Man, you need to talk with me in a society. Uh, in a society. Me no one could be cut style, but originality. And when you copy my style, that's illegality. Man, you need to talk with me in a society. Uh, Dancing to it. What's on? Chris and Wagwan, what happened to your music? Ningo long, Walumi, I don't need. I judge a one, two, three, four. You sang a few song, now you're out of the game. What's on? Yes, Waka, yes, Waka, ring everything. Chris, you say, watch my kids, so I scare you that much. A fifty happy, you do the chatty chatty. When you sing, you go, me. Most people know I copy cut style, but originality. And when you copy my style, that's illegality. Man, you need to talk with me in a society. back from the commercial break we are still with west Nile trending a program that runs every saturdays from time 8 p.m paka mama calls you a lot is always trending on west now trending as the name all right we're still with uh queen g the genius in the studios of benchmark films uganda and we're going on the chat is so sweet we want to know who queen g is what she does what is she doing what are her goals in the music industry? So, Quinty, welcome back. We're still in the studios. Thank you. Wow, so we're still going on. So you told me you stopped in uh, Senior 3. Yeah. And uh, you never proceeded from there. Yeah. So you had that idea after Senior 3. Let me be like Shiba. That's all? Not because I had the idea. I mm -hmm. have the talent. You have the talent. Yeah. So, I want to first know you had the talent, yes. Who inspired you? Mm, like, locally or... 
it it might be locally you're like ah when you always okay, see okay like in west nile or yeah like in west nile obvious case we're in west nile west nile chandiru chandiru leila chandiru leila yes is she there yeah i've taken some time without listening <laughs> to that lady but what was the last song that chandiru leila like uh sang let me remember make which song which um, song was that there's a song she did with uh, chris j it's called nyakudo nyaku yeah there's only like one song that i really like from and that lady and she has a new single called sweetie 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 yeah. so she's the one who like inspired, inspired you inspired me like in west nile okay and in uganda let me say um like central side it's uh juliana juliana yes you really when you look at juliana you're like i wanna be like juliana mm. I want to dress like Juliana. Juliana. I want to shoot videos like Juliana. I want to look like Juliana. <laughs> so, I want to ask you something. What are the challenges you're facing in the music industry? Mm. Oh, there are so many. So many. <laughs> I, I, I want you to list from. them. I really want you to list them cuz I, I want you to I give you the chance from. the promoters to see you. anyone holding your music anyone flying with you anyone succeeding with you you really have to tell them what challenges you face in this music industry so no one should see you outside them ah ah no these things are you easy know. i can be like queen g i can be like queezy so tell them the challenges you're facing in this industry you know in west nile yeah as uh, being a female artist there uh-huh. are so many challenges we face uh huh uh, for instance like you know we We, we 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 do shows at night we normally do shows at night right yeah yeah night shows yeah, and we are not so strong you know like the men to move mm. at night yeah. and when we're out there at night so many things happen to us at times we 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 you know you get fa- you, your fans they first they insult you yeah that they, is true i've seen it so many and there's this thing of also promoters yeah. first wanting to you know sleep with you promoters yes. they really want to they first want to you know fall in love with you <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then after after then falling in love you. <laughs> <laughs> then they start promoting you you know uh-huh yeah that is also has it another ever, thing has it ever happened to you so many times really you so many times and uh, that, how do you hesitate from that i just i just chill no okay. you know cuz there's this produ- promoter i mean a uh, presenter Let's not mention names. I don't, uh-huh, ah, no, 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 no. Mr. X. Uh-huh, say Mr. Mr. X. X. Uh-huh. Uh, he even had to delete my songs, you know? From like the studios? Stash radio, one of the stations around. Uh-huh. Yeah, because he wanted to, you know, fall in love with me. Mm. And I, I denied, I refused. Mm. So he, he had to go to the studio and delete my songs. Mm. Yeah, that was really bad. I know, I really I know how you bad. felt. Bad. Yeah. We go through a lot. I know. So through those challenges you don't have someone like to be there with you like your manager don't you have a manager uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to say this but I don't, I don't have a manager <laughs> So you want to tell me that you manage I yourself I don't have a manager I don't There's no manager in so Westline So if Dula wants to We have to... promoters but no managers okay. no in Westline Why why do you say that no managers me I have a manager She's called Shami. I have a manager. Are you an artist? I'm not an artist, but I'm in the music industry. I'm giving you an example. Free Boy has a manager. Free Boy. Monopoly has a manager. Yes has a manager. No. So, you can't tell me that Those you don't have guys. a manager. I'm a lady. I know why no. I'm saying this. I'm a lady. Yama Gal also has a manager. That is Yama Gal, but I know why I don't want okay, a manager. Okay, we are not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> we are not fighting. We just have to be straightforward and tell me, do you know what? I don't want a manager. I want I don't to want a manager. But I, I really want promoters to. around. I have mm-hmm. promoters. I have guys who post my music but mm. not manager. No. That means there is a secret behind why you don't want a manager. Yes. Maybe they want a bigger percentage from the person <laughs> singing on the stage. <laughs> you tell me the truth. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as for you you don't have a manager. If Dula wants to hire you, if I want to use you in my show, I come direct to you. Yeah, you contact me. You have a personal number or you have a business number? I have a business number. A business number. Yes. So if I don't reach you, I can also find you on your Facebook. On Facebook, um Instagram. Oh. Can you follow me on That's Twitter? That's good. Yeah. Then uh so you're talking about your promoters who are there for you. How many promoters that you really see that doing a great work in your 
industry? <sighs> there are so many. <laughs> There's so many. There are so many. Wow, you can't yeah, mention. Okay, can't mention like them. three. Mention three of them to big ups to them. Let me say all the radio presenters are doing great job. Uh -huh. They are really pushing my music hard. Mm. Both in West Nile, okay, like Adrarua, Moyo, Weya, Nebi, they are really doing a great job. That's really nice. And uh, there are events, event organizers also. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's um, really great. And uh, I wanted to ask you something. How many audios do you really have? Oh. Since you Countless. started. Since you started. The journey Honestly, to the music I industry. don't know how many songs I have. I have so many songs, mm. so many. You know, I started music in 2012 and 2012, 2012 13, 14, 15, seven 16, years 17, in the 18, industry. 18, <laughs> eight years, damn, eight, eight years in the years music in the industry. industry. I have songs, so very Others many I songs. Even I think now, uh, most, of the, most of the songs they are playing nowadays is the current one. Why don't you push those old, old, old songs of yours? At least you're like. This is where you started from. Like, okay, let's give an example of uh, Jose Chameleon. You get it? Jose Chameleon has this. But do you, do you listen to radio? Do you listen to radio? I do, I do. But I listen to your latest songs, those current ones, 2019, 2018. But I've not listened to this. My song. latest? Uh -huh. You said my latest song? No. I'm which like, is my latest? Okay. You said you always listen to my latest, <laughs> which is my latest now. <laughs> You're getting crazy right now. <laughs> I don't okay, I don't listen to radios, but I watch radios, okay. Watch radios how? <laughs> we are still with Queen G in the building. She's just making me. I don't know how can I say it? Marara. You're feeling uh, Okay, Queen G, you really told us that you have many songs and uh, a few of them that you have mentioned, they're quite uh, good. So how many videos so far do you have? I have two videos. Two videos. Mm -hmm. And one of them is? Yeah, More Fire. More Fire. It was uh, shot and directed by which films? Um, Late Pasike. Uh huh. Then yeah. uh, your second? Second is um, Originality. Originality by? Benchmark. Benchmark Films. <laughs> so if you're to see the first quality of the first video and Woo! this quality of the. Benchmark, you guys. Really? <laughs> Really? Yeah. So who directed that move? Uh, who directed that uh, like that video? Ebisoft. 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 Really? <laughs> I think you guys have something in common. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you're thinking. So where did you direct it from? Like where was it shot from? Mm. Which place in West Nile here? Did you go out of Arua? No, it or was sort within the town. Within the town, yeah. Yeah. That's great. So we have had a lot of chat. Mm -hmm. So. Before we close or shut down the show, what kind of advice do you really give to the promoters out there? What should they do to make West Nile big, to make West Nile be trending everywhere? Respect. Respect is the first thing that Queen yeah. G says. Uh huh. Uh, my dear promoters, West Nile promoters, respect us ladies. Mm -hmm. Some of us are your daughters, some of us are your wives, some of us are your sisters. So we deserve that respect from you guys, please. And to my ladies uh, who are in the industry, I know there are a lot of things you go through, but we just have to be strong. We pray to God. And uh, who knows, one day God will make, hear our prayers and we shall overcome the challenges we are going that. through. Yeah? True that. And to my fans, I have a, by the way, I have a little so, latest song. It's called Quarantine. Quarantine. But show it, show it, show it, show it, show it right now. Show it somewhere. I'm in quarantine. You married here. I'm in quarantine. You married here. Iru Jo January. I know. You put my name there also. Baby. Iru Jo January. See. Who is he? I'm in isolation. <laughs> Why am I in isolation? <laughs> Why is the location? <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Queen Genius. She is always crazy. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you. <laughs> She's always crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still with Queen Genius. We're still with Queen Genius in the studios. Anna, she's going to say something a little bit right about now before we sign out. Queen Genius, how many songs do you have? Tell them where they can get your songs where they can follow you up, when they want you, where they can get you. So, tell, give your numbers to them. 
I have countless songs. Uh -huh. You can get them on all um, social media platforms. And um, you can get me on Facebook, Queen G. Mm -hmm. Twitter at Queen G. Instagram, Queen Genius. Yeah, and uh, my number, no. I'll not give my numbers. No. Okay, 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 let's do this. Zero seven. No way. So how are they going to get... Okay, they, sh they should get you on your social media platforms, eh? Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those who have been watching Queen Genius right in the building, we are saying, if you want to see Queen Genius, if you want to follow Queen Genius, you want to know what is trending about Queen Genius, it's only with West Nile trending. I still remain your host, king of the mic, the African MC West Nile sweetheart, with the baddest program ever running every weekend, that is West Nile training every Saturday, we are on on our Facebook platform that is at Benchmark Films Uganda from 8 p.m. Pakamama calls you. Stay watching, keep touch. You can subscribe on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And remember, we are getting back on next week on Saturday. Stay tuned, stay safe, Corona Wadala. That's it for today on West Nile Trending. Thanks for watching. Let's catch up next Saturday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on all our social media platform and YouTube.